I got to write the uh, respect sure. TV Sapachi R R three times. It was such a wonderful feeling to write that motorcycle behind Jagan and K Y Ahmed. Such talented racers that we have here. In April 2019, XPHP embarked on a 4,000 km journey on two TVS Apache R310s, powered by Castrol Power One and Apollo tires, with the support of TVS Racing. The ride started from Booth International Circuit and ended at Sholavaram A Strip near Chennai. In between, we also visited the Kari Motor Speedway in Coimbatore and also MMRT Racetrack in Chennai. During the ride, we also spoke to a lot of people from the racing fraternity. The idea behind this ride was to find the roots of the Indian motorsports and also what lies in the future for it. So this was it, the third and the final track day on this road trip tracing the roots at the legendary Madras Motor Race Track, the most prominent hub of Indian motorsports. And to make this day more special, we had quite a few special guests with us, including the seven times national champion Emmanuel Jabaraj from Apollo Tires and seven times national champion K Jagan Kumar, along with K Y Ahmed from Team TVS Racing. Hi, I am Emmanuel Jabraj, uh, fondly known as Jabba in the race and racing scenario. Um, I started my racing in the year 1995. Actively was racing till 2012. In the process, I became a seven-time national champion. Since 2015, we started a racing school in the name Busta Racing India. Uh, we have been actively uh, promoting a lot of young riders uh, from different parts of the country. After my uh, active racing uh, from 2012, I started uh, getting back into tire testing, which actually started in the year 2003 along with TVS when I was racing for them. In 2015, uh, I have signed exclusively with Apollo Tires uh, because they came up with a dream uh, of preparing a tire which is much needed for the Indian road conditions, much better than any, any other manufacturer, especially with Apollo Alpha H1. The amount of hard work gone behind those tires is so much uh, that I will not uh, be, my words will not be sufficient to explain those things. Um, and Apollo is the only tyre which is the first Indian tyre which, which, come, which comes with a steel radial uh, tyres. And these tyres are meant to give you good grip. Um, these tyres are extensively tested in this track condition. Track conditions at high speeds, at low speeds, at, at much uh, colder speed, meaning uh, wet conditions, um, braking under wet conditions, uh, tyres are tested under rain and rain situations. So um, these tyres have gone through extensive test and uh, today we, have, we are happy to say that we have, we have a tyre which is on par with inter any international tyre. Uh, the biggest challenge what I see in, in case uh, why riders of Indian riders have not gone beyond a certain level, uh, to be precise beyond an Asian level, uh, it, mainly the reason is we all start late. Um, even now uh, in Indian conditions, the FMSA is approved riders only about the age of 13, whereas uh, our other, in any other European countries, even in Australia, we have uh, riders below the age of 13 racing mini motor. So we don't have the facility of mini motor. So we, we, are, we are already starting late and by the time we peak, uh, we don't even have the facilities of uh, bikes which are capable of doing, uh, competing in motor 3 or motor 2. But yes, the riders are definitely, definitely talented. Uh, there are there are riders who, riders who have gone to a level uh, in, in, on, in racing representing India, but they are not able to take it any further because uh, the money-wise they are not able to get uh, sufficient funds. The age, when, when they get sufficient funds, the age is out of their hands. So mm, the first and foremost thing to, to have an Indian rider abroad uh, or in, 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 in an international level, say in SDK or WSS or even Moto3, I think talent is no one excuse. We have the talent, it's the infrastructure, the facility and just about the awareness uh, with the, to the parents now basically more than the child the parents need to be uh, aware of how and how, when, how it should be done and when they should start to and what is the road map for this today in today's scenario i am really happy to say that we have kids in on track starting from the age of 6 and uh, there are other manufacturers who are running a talent uh, cup show and all for uh, for ages riders between 13 to 18 so that is a future for indian motorsport but still, I will say, 
Minimoto or a challenge from the age of 6 to 13 will be an even bigger step uh, to get fine riders from the age bracket of 13 to 16 in world level. It was a great experience talking to Jeba and listening to his experience and insights about Indian motorcycle racing. We could have just gone on and on talking to him, but then we had the track waiting for us. Three Apaches in total. I still have them. One is the Apache RTR 180, which was the bike I started riding on, and then I upgraded to the Apache RTR 200, and later on I got the Apache RR 310. So, and I have been invited uh, to the MMRT racetrack uh, by XBHP as a part of uh, tracing the route competition. So I was one of the lucky people who got chosen into this. I rode the motorcycles around the track. Um, my own RR310 as well as the uh, RR310s uh, shot with uh, the Apollo Alpha H1 tires and the difference is very significant to be very honest and uh, if you ask me how much time does it overall save on one lap so it may be around 3 to 3.5 seconds on an average so that's a huge difference and the Apollo H1 tires do uh, offer a lot of confidence because uh, they are multi-compound tires, they are soft at the edge, so they really stick well, really, really stick well. So at times, I was scraping the foot peg, so I just thought, okay, this motorcycle should have, uh, you know, a higher foot peg, like, you know, set foot peg. So yeah, that's about it. So the tires are really, really good, so you should really go for it. And uh, when I upgrade, when I change my tires, I will probably go for the Polo H1s as well. So, today is the last day of our ride car tracing the route and we have reached MMRT. Before that, I had a bike on a very motor speedway, which was my first experience. Today is the second experience. So, the RR310 experience is also good because the handling of this bike is very important. As a tourer, I can say that you can do touring on this bike and you can also learn the racing on any track in India. This is the third track day for tracing the routes. I was here when this motorcycle was first launched by TVS. It is such a beauty to ride on the highway or the racetrack. And even after riding those three and a half thousand kilometers on those long highways and uh, at the racetrack where we pushed uh, our motorcycles to their limits. And if the, the motorcycles are performing well, if the throttle response is as good as it was when we started riding the motorcycle, then I must uh, say thanks to Castrol Power One because uh, not only the Castrol Power One has kept these bikes happy, these bikes healthy, it has also kept us healthy because because a well-behaving motorcycle will keep the riders happy as well. So thanks to Castrol Power One, thanks to TVS Racing and yes I got to ride the race spec TVS Apache RR 310 and it was such a wonderful feeling. It was such a wonderful feeling to ride that motorcycle behind Jagan and KY Ahmed, such talented racers that we have here and uh, I, I couldn't describe that feeling in words. Talking to so many riders, so many racers, uh, I get that the minimum that they need from the biking fraternity is the support of other bikers, right? Because unless we support them, unless we follow them, uh, they won't be able to get the support from the manufacturers, from the sponsors. Instead of cribbing about 
why we don't see an Indian racer on the world stage. We should first actively support the racers who are doing good at national level, at state level or at domestic level. Then only we will be able to see our riders performing at world stage. In the end, I would like to say thanks to uh, MMRT Madras Motor Race Track for having us here, for letting us ride our motorcycles here. You guys are absolutely amazing. Without you, the Indian motorsport would not have been where it is today. So thank you so much MMRT. Thank you so much everyone who's been uh, involved with the functioning of this facility. Official culmination of this ride will be at Sholavaram Racetrack, which is where the Indian motorsport was born, which is uh, the birthplace of Indian motorsport. So there we'll have one very special rider with us, uh, a legend we can say, Mr. Subhash Chand Bose, who used to ride at that time uh, at Shola Varam, and he's one of the most experienced racers, riders that I have met in my life so far. Mm -hmm.